back again uh, showing you some more builds so I just did uh, example number one and took you through all the different builds for that uh, this is another uh, run of show for your presentation example number two and I'm not going to do all of the builds individually this time I'll skip through them you can go have a look for them yourself so these are the completed slides but you can be assured that each one of these builds in in the same way as they did previously uh, it just will save a little bit of time uh, and me <laughs> and you not getting too bored but they look quite smart and again you can tweak anything you want on these slides so again very similar to the previous build but a very different sort of look and feel to this one um, I actually think I prefer this and I don't know whether you notice there I just flick between a white background uh, and a, a blue background and as you're going through the slides that's a sort of designer trick that quite often people use they flip around the colors just to get a little bit of interest in the slides so I've done that for you and here's my screen share example again um, I may put some other bits and bobs in but let's do a transition <laughs> So these little transitions, uh, they are all in there for you as well. And we can come and have a look at those in another uh, episode because you can go drop your own logo in um, or some text or something like that um, rather than just have the plain transition. So here's my star ratings and my testimonials. And here's another transition. <laughs> And on this build, I don't think this was in the sort of previous one, but uh, I quite like it anyway. So another sort of team build going on. And beyond that, uh, my sort of final how to contact me slide. And again, this one, a variation on the previous one, but just my card flying in and looking quite smart. And actually what I have done to create that card is I used one of the backgrounds. I just used a plain white background and then dropped in some different shapes over the top of the white background uh, to make up the, the card. So it's actually made up of quite a number of bits and pieces. But uh, we'll be in live demo mode uh, again in a minute. Uh, I don't think I need to show you that. You can go play about uh, with that if you want to, because it's really only changing the text and changing your logos and, and stuff like that. So let's have a look at some additional builds that you haven't seen just yet. So here's my additional builds. And here we've got, uh, again, a couple of bullet point type builds. These obviously build one at a time, so I'm not going to do all the bullets one at a time. But again, what I have done is I have used the striped background to let me have that sort of bullet point look and feel uh, on my deck for those ones. Now, I've also got some completely different mad builds. So here's one where what I'm doing is just sliding in uh, a couple of boxes and uh, images, but I, I think it looks quite interesting and different, and it certainly looks very keynotey. Um, for want of a better term, I don't know if that's a real term, but it looks more keynotey. So uh, that's that one. Here we've got uh, again the little edges moving on the side of the screen. You've seen that in a previous video if you've been watching them sequentially. And this is very similar to the build that I had in number one, where I have just used some lines in addition to the squares to add a little bit more uh, dynamic to the slide. So all of these are in there for you and you can go customize them as you see fit. So one for folders, one for cameras. Now Ecamm does some interesting things when it builds in from different directions. So sometimes you get this sort of little bit of a lag thing going on. Uh, you can't change that, but I quite like it. It's kind of an interesting looking feature. Um, so you kind of have to live with that. And uh, you can try moving stuff in from different directions and sometimes it works better and sometimes not so good. It seems to depend on whether you've got text and images uh, mixed in the same build, but um, they do look different. So I don't know whether you'd noticed that some of the previous ones that I brought down from the top they all seem to work very well when you bring things down from the top. It all seems to work well together. Left and right, it can be a bit 
different. So that one had things from all sorts of different directions. Um, I am quite happy to live with that slightly blended look. I kind of think it makes it a bit different and personal. Um, but there isn't anything I can do about it. Can't change it. So that's that. So let's have a look at four boxes coming in. And you can see that little lag that I was talking about. But it's not something that bothers me. So um, I'm, I'm good with that. Now this one, I'm getting a bit carried away. Uh, so I'm using not only uh, the first four keys, but also going on to U, I and O across the screen. So six boxes, really as much as you want in there. I maybe would go back and change some of the colors on the tops of these different elements by moving them around, but you'd have to do that by grabbing the element in the build and then swapping it around to build one, two, three or four. So if you wanted them all as white tops, then, then you'd duplicate the white top scene six times and then put it on the top of each box there. And Ecamm will sort of snap things for you. So it does snap things together uh, quite nicely. Um, but um, yeah, that that's a real big, fairly complicated build, that one. The most complicated, I would say, on the whole deck. Now, what does this one do? Oh, I think it does lots of circles coming in just for something different. And I must admit that I tend not to use bullet points that regularly on my decks. I would much rather use something like this and talk around the images because people can read, right? So they, they don't need you to read the bullet points for them. Um, so you could bring in high level bullet points and talk around them that's fine. Uh, I like to bring in an, an image and talk around the image. So uh, it's the equivalent of bullet points, but graphically instead. And I've got some drop in circles. And again, as I mentioned earlier, you see how when you bring stuff in from the top, it seems to work better. And all of those were absolutely fine. So make them all disappear again. Uh, R, T, the, and they all come in smoothly from the top so don't know why that is quirk of ecamm but uh, a kind of limitation of what we can do here um, another one is when i'll mention this all the shapes size proportionally so you cannot take this box that i'm in and make it wider but the same height it won't do that it's going to scale in both directions proportionally ecamm also has this slight oddity whereby something uh, which is a small shape it only lets you shrink it so much. So these lines that I've got across the top here, these three yellow lines, it only lets me shrink those so much. So I don't know why that is, but you're not doing anything wrong. Um, it's just a quirk of Ecamm, I think. I don't suspect they, they ever thought anybody uh, would be actually creating presentations uh, to this degree. So it's not a drawing package, um, but it is a, a good presenting package uh, for doing something like this. So here I am just bringing in my five boxes. And that all looks quite nice. All of those builds are in there for you. Go play about with them. Um, I did also say I was going to uh, have a look at that star build and how you play about with the star build. So let's go find uh, one of our star builds just to show you how you might want to change that. Because if I go back up to my star ratings here, uh, everything's got a five star rating. Let's get rid of them and show you what the build would look like. So let me build them in. One, two, three. But what if you didn't want a five star rating on everything? You wanted to put different star ratings on them. This means going back into live demo mode. Turning on live demo mode again. So here we are in live demo mode, and what I want to do is just zoom in to let you see where I put everything, because there's quite a lot in these builds, bizarrely. So that key there. Just so you can see my eyes. Um, so in that build, build number one, I've got four stars there. And in build number two, I've got four stars. And in build number three, I've got four stars. If I wanted to change the star rating, 
uh, then what I would need to do is either delete a star or I can just hide the star. So you just need to make sure you've hidden the right star. So I don't know that I've got them all in order. So if I hide that star and let's say the headphones also going to get a slightly lower rating, uh, then then that's me done for, for that particular build. So let me come back out again. And I'll come out of live demo mode. And now um, get rid of these and then fly them back in again. And so I have now changed my star rating for my camera and my headphones. So uh, that was the end of this particular uh, build, just to show you what all the additional builds were in there. And so I now need to go and find out where I've put my end transition. I suspect it's right up the top here somewhere. Um, yeah, it is. So there's my end transition. Uh, I guess next time we will look at transitions. That seems to be probably the one thing I haven't done yet. So for tonight, or for, for this session, uh, cheerio. See you later.